ese cuchillo y se fue. That's it. Did you hear what he just said? I did said? not. He said, you and I are like flirting with each other right now. This is the point. Why are you jealous? Huh? Do you eh. want the attention? It's not all about you. Eh, 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 eh. Yvonne. Nchan. Who is this guy? <laughs> this is Mr. Chaponda. I don't like him. Why? I like him. Eh, eh. That's the secret why I don't like him. Why the hell do you like him? Eh, hey, what are you doing on my set? I am a stand-up comedian, and I have come specially to Zambia to make you laugh. <laughs> yeah, right. Stand-up comedian, but you're sitting down. <laughs> I will even tell jokes lying down. I, I've made women laugh many times lying down, un unintentionally. But, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I Emphasis I, on women. You heard it Women. Ah, arras niggas. Leave him alone. But, yeah, I'm, 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 I was in... Zambia in December had a wonderful show at the music club. So I've come back for a sequel. This is part two. This is Fast, Too Fast, Too Furious, Lethal Weapon 2, the sequel. You've come back for the second time to steal our women. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Last time I didn't take one back with me. So this time I've brought uh, extra luggage. You even have a bucket list for the girls you're going to <laughs> Hopefully I won't find one who has a bucket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't say he wants me. I can see by the look in his eyes. Look at me. So, Yvonne, uh, Rasnegas is your your matchmaker. Is that what's no, going on? No, he's not even my anything. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm not your anything. Rasnegas, please let's be respectful. This is our special guest. We are just having a short interview with him, and then he will leave. Is that okay? <clears throat> if you're not careful, I will take you with me. And then you'll be missing Yvonne tomorrow. You'll be like, why? Why am I in England? I would like to see you try. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that challenge. But yes, yes, I'm doing a comedy show here. I, I touched down yesterday. I've been reading what's been going on in your country, writing jokes, and I can't wait. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. You know what? Yes. I may not want to admit this, but you are actually funny. This is good, and you make me laugh as well. So, <laughs> so let's call it even. It's even, a truce, yeah? even. It's a truce. Truce. Nice. Today you're acting mature. Yes, Yvonne. Look, I am wearing a jacket. Oh, so when you wear a jacket, you're mature. Mm. Okay, now let's start in interviewing him. Okay, you go ahead with the first question. All right. Yes. You had a show last year, and we're so glad you're back because the response was amazing. People were happy. We were happy. And you're such an amazing presence on stage. Uh, the question I had for you, the first one I had for you, is this one. Your comedy is very, very special in that it touches sensitive topics but makes people laugh. And in some cases, in some instances, some people get offended. Yes. How do you deal with those people who get offended? I find that I don't offend many people because I'm very smiley, I'm very silly, and I'm very close to the edge, but I'm not super over the line. There are comedians in the world who try to shock people. I'm not doing that. I'm always making a point, and I'm always playing, and I think people know that because even though I talk about crazy subjects, you can watch me with your grandmother, and you can watch me with your 14-year-old, and nobody's upset. Exactly. No one would be upset that no, Mr. Chaponda is insulting like Rasnegas. Oh, not like Rasnegas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but actually, you can go a lot further with comedy, like cartoons, like puppets. You can say outlandish things that Yvonne could never say, and you won't get in trouble. True, true. I'll just say, <laughs> speak to the hand. Exactly <laughs> right. Exactly right. And so that's the same thing I found. Because I'm a clown and I'm an idiot, I've talked about stuff. Like in Malawi some years ago, they, they arrested two gay men. Right, Ooh. and I wasn't. No one could talk about it. It was very taboo. But I could talk about it on stage because I'm a clown. I'm an idiot, right? When we had a, a drunken, uh, the president's son was a drunkard in Malawi. You couldn't talk about it, but I could talk about it because I'm a comedian. So comedians, we talk about all the things you shouldn't say. <laughs> yes, you talk about things you shouldn't say, right? Well, we have microphone issues. Oh, okay, yeah. So this one. I I apologize for the technical issues. Now I feel like I'm back in Malawi with technical oh, issues. <laughs> Malawi is just an extension of Zambia's Lusaka. Oh, yes, Lusaka I Eastern said Poland. in my previous show, and I stand by this, that Zambians are just Malawians with money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait, wait. What money? What money in Zambia? 
I'm not saying it's a lot, but it's more than Malawi. Yeah. You have, you know, your you have a little less load shedding. You have, <laughs> you know, just a little bit more money. A little bit more, and you are very right. You know, Malawians are like uh, those young siblings you like to bully. Those, <laughs> You have the baby brother or the baby sister? But no, we're biding our time now. The Malawians are coming to bully back. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> and, and you are here bullying me on my own so, set. On your own set. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I like dreadlocks, though. Dreadlocks are fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. They are called she dreads. No, oh, yeah. Fantastic. Mm, this is not about It's about him. Yes. We are talking about how he gets away with some of his content. The other question I had for you, like, you are literally a big star right now. Being on Britain's Got Talent is not a small thing. You, uh, you are an inspiration to many people around the world. Like, you moved from being known maybe in Britain yep. to being known around the world. I didn't expect it because I'll admit it. When I came third, I thought, oh, I was actually disappointed because I was like, oh, I thought if I win, I'm famous, and now I'm back to normal. And then literally I left the studio and mm -hmm. as I'm walking down the street some people were screaming and taking pictures and I realized that even as third I now was globally known and it's been yeah. I wouldn't be doing this tour and performing for the people in Zambia and I was in Eswatini and all over the place if it wasn't for doing that so you see it was great so like what are some of the challenges you face now that you're known globally now now when you're known you can't do anything dodgy because you'll be recognized, <laughs> right? You know what I mean? You can't do, if you are drunk, mm -hmm. people are going to take pictures. It's going to be on Facebook the next yes, day, I right? Yes, I will take pictures of you. Not Isn't that it? I would ever do a thing like this, but if you are going to cheat and you're famous, you will be caught because <laughs> people will see you at the club and they'll be like, ah, ah. Well, look what's going on. You know what I mean? So you, it's a privilege. You get more um, attention, money. You've got an audience, but also you've lo lost your privacy. People are in oh, your business. Yeah. People meet you on the street and start telling you their sad stories and asking <laughs> for donations and contributions. So it's, it's, it's a different life, but it's a good life. It's a good life, yeah? It's a wonderful life, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, that's good. Now that you're in Zambia, do you have a bucket list of things you didn't do last time that you want to do now? I just have subjects which I didn't bring up on stage where I was like, oh, I think Zambia would like that joke. Oh, I think Zambia would like that joke. Mm -hmm. And so I've been taking notes whenever I've thought of a joke I didn't do last time and mm -hmm. I'm bringing it this time. Hey, we are coming. It would be fantastic. Also, mm -hmm. I'm ready for my 20% refund of <laughs> NAPSA, so I'm going to queue. I'm going to queue tomorrow. The queue was too long yesterday, but tomorrow I hope you've got connections. We can jump to the head. Uh, we can go only on one condition. What's the condition? In that 20%, give me 10. 10? Yes. 1%? Eh? What am I getting for 20 if I give you 10? Eh, okay, I'll give you this girl here. This Ross one? Niggas, one I like this me. deal. No, shh, sh I like this deal. It's, it's no, done. No, it's no, done. No, 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 no. <laughs> you have no say in this. You have this no say in this. The deal has been ah, made. The deal ah, is closed. Ah. This is not... If her parents are watching, the deal has been this made. This is not an auction. And I'm even right here. Eh, hey, what? Ah, ah, ah. I will bring Lobola tomorrow. No, uh, no, no. Let's continue the interview. Okay. A cow puppet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> even selling me on my own show. Yes, Mike. Yes, yes. Kitambo bin Rama. No. So, Mr. Chaponda. Yes. <laughs> uh, you do know Zambia is a tourist destination yes it is it is it is have you visited some nice places around i have here? not i'm like working i come in town i i perform and i leave i mean i go to like nice little like i went to latitude and had a drink and chill out but mostly i'm here writing working maybe i'll come on a different trip where i'm not performing mm. and go be a tourist but really it's about the jokes and the writing Interesting. Yes, that way you do your job, you go away, you don't get my girls. <laughs> <laughs> after the show. I've got one day after the show. Eh, let me see. Can you go to Livingston in one day? <laughs> yes, it's close by. Santia. Santia, you would have to fly there. Mm. If I go to Livingston, are you coming with me? Depends. Depends. What's in it for me? One percent. One not ten. Not ten. One. Not one but yet in the run. Ten percent, okay. But aren't you aren't you qualified to get your own twenty percent? Mm-mm. I'm a youngster. I've only worked for like how many years have I worked? Three years. 
Mm. Oh, sweet. You only I need see. to work for about five years before you qualify. Then. Yeah, something like that. But you're going to be at my show, front row, right? Of course, I'm coming. Mm -mm, I'm coming and now, to support. There's VIP tickets, mm -hmm. which are 1,000. I'm yes. hoping you're getting VIP. Of course, I'm a VIP. Look at me. You'll get a VIP, and she will just be in the normal people seats for no, 200. No, 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 Mike. If you are in normal people, I'm coming in normal people too. Oh, you're hey. inseparable. That's so lovely. No, 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 no. I will be in VIP. Oh. You two will be wherever he wants. Mike, take it easy. Okay, the interview is on him, not on me. Okay, go on. You have a question for him? <clears throat> yes. Okay. Uh, you know, you are an inspiration to many people out there. If there is a young boy or young girl out there watching you right now who would like to be like you, what is your message to them? The main thing I would say is just start doing it, right? Too many people ask for permission. You don't need a producer. You don't need anyone. Just start doing it. Even if it's just with your own camera and you post the jokes on TikTok, just start doing it. Build your audience and you'll find a way to do it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And now, look into your camera there and tell your audience everything there is to know about the comedy night taking place tomorrow. So the comedy night which I'm doing is at the Music Hall. It's tomorrow at 7 o'clock prompt. You can get tickets at the door. You can get tickets online. Just check out my socials. You'll find all the links. Uh, it's me, Delisa Chaponda, doing over an hour of comedy. The opening act is the very brilliant Chibwe Katebe. It's going to be absolutely amazing. This is the Music Hall at East Park Mall. VIP tickets, 1,000. Middle tickets, Golden Circle, 400. And normal people, 200. But don't worry, the normal people, you laugh as much as the VIPs. Be fantastic. Awesome, awesome. You normal people are not going to be mingling with me. You'll be <laughs> mingling with uh, who? Uh, with who? I wanted to find someone else who can mingle in VIP. Are you going to be in VIP? Oh, no, I'm going to be on stage. After stage, where are you going to After be? stage, I'm going to be in, with the normal people. I find with the women. With the women. I want the normal women. That's Press who I'm pass. going to talk to. Do you have to bring in women at everything? Montal no, but I'm a little disappointed, though, child. because I saw a clip of mm. your president saying, no more sugar daddies. So I was like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I've, I've come for different purposes than I used to. <laughs> Sukre Baba, my Sukre friend. Sukre Baba. Yeah, my friend Balkisa, a comedian, also said, in Zambia, you need to find a Sukre Baba. Sukre Baba. No, you need a Sukre Baba. I too am a sukre oh, baba. Oh, that no. now I see the connection there. You don't right. have a stomach, a belly. Still more, Mr. Chaponda. Don't you think I can make a nice sukre baba? Nice baba? sukre baba. You are, you're practicing right here. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, the show is going to be fantastic. I can't wait. I'm still writing jokes. And uh, be there prompt. It starts 7 o'clock, white people time. Okay, we will be like great. on the spot, on the dot. It'll be great. No problem. And we like how you're also for keeping time. You, you said, uh, Yvonne, you told them to be here on time. And look, they came on time. Yes, even tomorrow's show. It's tomorrow, yeah? Yes, I don't want anybody late. No late. And if me. my girlfriend's late, I panic. Hey, you have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I have two. <laughs> Why one when you could have two? Hey, you <laughs> and I are going to talk after this. We will show. talk, we will talk. Mm. Dealings, girl. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Mr. Chaponda, sir, we know you are rushing, and we're just so glad that you were able to come through. We wish you the best with the show. We're definitely coming to support, and it's always nice having you here. You were born in Zambia. You're practically Zambian, even though you say you say a citizen of no nation. But I mean, you're Zambian by birth, so Fantastic. you're always welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank Speak for yourself. Welcome, where to still those girls. Say some kind words to him. Anyway, Mr. Chaponda, thank you so much for coming through, okay? My absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me. You're my friend, girl? Yes, I'm your friend. We're buddies. Yes, sir.